there shall be no death. December 25th, I hath not seen nor ear heard. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. Christ's true disciples follow him through sore conflicts, enduring self-denial and experiencing bitter disappointment, but this teaches them the guilt and woe of sin, and they are led to look upon it with abhorrence. Partakers of Christ's sufferings, they are destined to be partakers of his glory. In holy vision the prophet saw the ultimate triumph of God's remnant church. The Acts of the Apostles, 590. Pain cannot exist in the atmosphere of heaven. There will be no more tears, no funeral trains, no badges of mourning. In the city of God, there shall be no night. None will need or desire repose. There will be no weariness in doing the will of God and offering praise to his name. We shall ever feel the freshness of the morning and shall ever be far from its close. The Great Controversy, 676. There the redeemed greet those who led them to the Savior, and all unite in praising him who died that human beings might have the life that measures with the life of God. The conflict is over. Tribulation and strife are at an end. Songs of victory fill all heaven as the ransomed ones take up the joyful strain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain, and lives again, a triumphant conqueror. The Acts of the Apostles, 602.